What's up, therave.com? I'm TJ. I'm sitting here with Liam from Cancer Bats. How goes the day for you? Uh, awesome. Yeah, just uh, went on a tour of the Pabst yeah, Brewery. Yeah, I heard. It was awesome. So, yeah, good spirits, ready to play the rave again. This is our third time here, so I'm stoked. Do you like it here? I do like it here. People always talk about how haunted this place is, but uh, I don't really get any weird vibes. I really like the, the backstage. I don't know if kids know this, but the backstage looks like the inside of, like, a lava lamp. It's like super mm -hmm. hippied out, yeah. which is really chill. Yeah. And like there's pillows everywhere. You don't so. need to take drugs. You're on drugs. Yeah, yeah, exactly. For straight edge kids like me, it's like being on acid. Yeah. It's awesome. It's so tapestries. this is what Jimmy was looking at yeah. when he was playing all those solos. <laughs> this is what acid is like. Oh. I love it. But yeah, so I'm stoked. Stoked to be back. Yeah. You're on the cool tour, a couple days left. Well, yeah, five today's days. not so cool, though. Like, no, today's a very, very hot day. It is hot. That was a whole thing with the cool Milk tour. Milk was a bad choice, yeah. I think a, a lot of people like uh, think it's just the name cool. Now, the whole idea is that the tour is in an air-conditioned environment yeah. and not in a parking no lot. No amphitheaters, yeah. That's where the, that's where the joke <laughs> is. Um, and I think a lot of people just look at me and like, is this cool? I'm like, no, 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 like physically cool. It's nice and cold. That's where we're going with it. But uh, yeah, today is really hot, so mm -hmm. it's a bit of the opposite. But whatever, sometimes you gotta sweat it out, you know? Still having fun. Yep. And uh, your newest album, uh, Bears, Mares, uh, Scraps and Bones, came out about. Came 10... out in April. Oh, there it is. That's what it looks like. Uh, how have, uh, is there a particular song you really enjoy playing off that record? Or is there, what are the, what's the crowd reception like to these uh, new songs? Um, yeah, we've been playing some new jams. One of my favorites that we've been playing on the tour. Uh, Basically, because this is you know super heavy metal tour, we're playing uh, the first track off the record, which is called "Sleep This Away," which is like easily the heaviest song we've ever written mm -hmm. as a band. So uh, for us, like we're just all really stoked that we play, get to play, you know, a super heavy, you know, face melting bowel yeah. shaker, um, and that's been getting the pit started every day. So nice. it's been really cool yeah. to to know that a big sludgy heavy track is still getting younger kids stoked out. So yeah, it's been fun. Yeah, now I wanted to talk to you about your influences because uh, the last time you guys came here to the rave, I was watching you, uh, and then I've, I've seen a lot of your music videos that you've put out, a couple, and I, when I listen to you guys, I have a really hard time picking out what your influences are because they're not, it's like some bands you can like tell, oh, they're very influenced by the Gothenburg scene, or they're definitely f Florida death metal, or they're, they're a punk rock band. What are you guys influenced by, both musically yeah. and like, where do you guys come from, really? I think that's the thing is like, yeah, we're all over the place. Like, you really are. Yeah, like a lot our, of men say that, but you guys no. really are all <laughs> over the place. Um, I th and we don't really make it easy on people, but I think it's just because we're we're big fans of music, you know. So we're as into like you know punk and hardcore as we are into thrash and stoner metal, and you know like even you know Gothenburg, like you know like. Swedish death metal or like, you know, tons of different stuff. And I find that's just our vibe is that we're just having fun, like putting all that together as a band. So yeah, sometimes we're playing like super heavy sludgy stuff, like I Hate God or, you know, like COC, like that whole. I Hate God's an amazing band, by the way. <laughs> love those guys. Um, so yeah, we, we love like that old like New Orleans stuff um, as well as, you know, like Black Flag and everything like that. So it's just like our good mix of, you mm -hmm. know, just fun times. And it, it's cool that, I think people uh, are down for the fact that we play lots of different stuff. Like they don't mind that you know it's a stoner song one minute and then yeah. a thrash song the next. Change it it still, I think, comes out as cancer bats in the end. Now your hometown is Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Yep. One of I've been there twice. It's one of the best cities I've ever been to oh, personally. Cool. I love that city. Glad you liked it. Uh, what is the uh, music scene like in Toronto? Because I, I never went to any clubs or checked it out when I was there. It's it's awesome right now. Like um, for. I think that's, I mean, half the reason why we're so all over the place is that Toronto's always been, like, a really good, like, eclectic scene. It really is, yeah. Yeah, like, I mean, for metal, punk rock, hardcore, um, or even, like, you know, indie rock, there's lots of, like, good, like, electronic stuff going on, so for whatever kind of scene you want to go out and check out, there's always, like, cool shows, there's lots of bars, like, all over the city that do um, cool, like, independent stuff, and there's always, like, bands coming through, and a lot of times, like, that's the only spot where American tours will will come through, just because it's in between Buffalo yeah, and Detroit. Yeah, it's really easy, yeah. Yeah, so it's kind of like the easy cop-out, you know, where they... they we played kinda, Canada. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, what do you mean? We played Toronto. So living in Toronto is awesome, but living anywhere else in Canada, you get the... The Shaft. If you live in Winnipeg, you don't get to see any Winnipeg, tours. Edmonton, yeah, Calgary. Yeah, Calgary. Vancouver every once in a while, I guess. Yeah, yeah, when yeah. You're up. Regina? <laughs> no, no. Um, so, yeah, so for us, it's like we are spoiled and we get to see all these bands. So it's definitely awesome. 
Yeah, man. I, I'll have to check that out next time I go up there. Because yeah. uh, if you've never been to Toronto, Canada, go. It's awesome. Go to go to uh, Sneaky D's if you're Sneaky there. Sneaky D's, that's, okay. That's our bar that we all hang out at. Okay. And there's a venue upstairs that's like 250 cap where they have tons of bands play. Um, that place is awesome. There's another place called Parts and Labor that just opened up that has a bar downstairs that started doing shows. And it is awesome, too. So those are my two, two recommendations two for recs. people going to Toronto. All right, very nice. Uh, now, uh, you guys have a pretty extensive touring schedule coming up. You guys have a, like two UK runs, a Europe run, uh, Australia, and Japan for two days. Is there, have you been to all those places yet? Or is this, is this new territory? We've been to all these places. Yeah, this is us going back. So uh, we went to Japan last year for Summer Sonic Festival. It kind of sucks because like, Japan's one of those spots that you want to like, actually you stay because yeah. it's so different but so <laughs> cool at the same time and, and and it's like it costs a ton of money to get there and you know but you always show up and play tokyo and osaka and then peace out yeah. and that's like literally we do that for three days but uh i mean hopefully we'll get to stay longer next time um luckily we're going to be in australia for like two weeks so that's going to be awesome we're there with bullet from a valentine and bringing the horizon mm -hmm. so it's going to be an amazing tour so i'm really psyched for that and then yeah then we go back to uh to england tour with bringing the horizon tour all of europe with dillinger escape plan and then um tour the uk like ourselves so it's like couldn't be more stoked yeah, your for, book for what's up coming up. Thanksgiving, I believe. Yeah, and then we come it. home and we do more tours after that. It's just not on our MySpace yet. So mm. we're, we're, you know about it, but you yeah, can't tell yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, it's one of those <laughs> things. So we're booked for the uh, for the rest of the year. Nice. And then working on next year, going to be coming back to the U.S. a lot more. So I'm stoked. All right, very nice, man. Uh, actually, I have a question. Do you have a favorite tattoo? Because I know you got a lot of them, and I don't see any color. Yeah, my arms are all, I pretty much gave up on color. I had my legs. I've got yeah, a, there's a little couple, bit there, yeah. couple, and then I was just like, you know what? I'm over it. My body heals uh, black a lot better. I just got this one done in Copenhagen by my good friend Uncle Alan, which uh, is probably my, my newest favorite, uh, but it's pretty dope. Creepy, all-seeing eye. Yeah. But I like that he, he kind of hangs back, you know, watch, got my back, mm -hmm. watch my back for me. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm stoked. I don't know. Filling him up slowly but surely. Yeah, do you hope to get the whole thing done? Eventually? Yeah, I think, like, there was a certain point when I went down past the elbow. I got this guy done in uh, Luxembourg, and uh, that was, like, my first tattoo below my elbow uh, in 2007. And since then I was like, all right, I'm going to start, you know, working on that. But yeah, I want to just fill up my whole body with floaters. Yeah. Why not? You know, once you get one, you might as well just, you might just as well go get a thousand, <laughs> you know, are they as addicting as people say they are? Yeah. Especially when you, you're like surrounded by good tattoo artists, you mm -hmm. know, when you're like, Oh, I really like like what you do, you know, like for us, like as much as we travel, like I get to meet so many people that are good tattoo artists. So I want to like, keep putting you know their pieces is there a me. particular tattoo artist that you haven't been tattooed by that you'd really like to like maybe paul booth or somebody um i'm i'm into his stuff i'm really into thomas hooper who also tattoos out of new york city um i really would like to get tattooed by him at some point because he does a lot of black work too so that's one of my that's one of my goals but yeah there's tons of guys in europe and all over that i'd love to get tattooed so right. hopefully hopefully fill up the rest of my body very nice. Well, thank you a lot for hanging out with us in this, what has now become a sauna of a room. Yeah, it's really hot. I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> Our faces are probably really shiny. <laughs> <laughs> Sweating bad. But uh, no, thanks for having me. Yeah. This is super cool. It's been uh, very nice talking to you, and I hope Rave you have a come. killer set tonight. Uh, thanks a lot, guys, for watching. We'll see you later.